Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're gonna test out one of my favorite small animal live catch traps. It's called the Red Door Rodent Catcher Trap, specially designed for chipmunks, rats, red squirrels, flying squirrels, and ground squirrels. This trap's made by DWL Brand Manufacturing. In my last video, I posted a video on their mouse trap called the Little Valve. It worked well, but if you wanna catch something a little bigger than mice, you might consider the Red Door. It's a really simple design. Many of the live catch traps have wire sides. This has solid. That makes a dark space and the rodents are more likely to go inside. They feel comfortable. There is wire in back so you can see what you caught and a hole on top. But the key is the trigger system and the door. This one has the red door. That makes it easy to see when you caught something. Now there's a double latch system. These are called dogs. You lift up the double dog. Pull up the door. You can see a pad inside. That's connected to a rod right here that goes forward and back. There's a little latch on the door. You push the pedal forward and it rests in place. You put the bait in the back of the trap. The small animal like the squirrel or rat will go inside. When they step on that pad, the door closes and both the dogs lock in place. There's no way this is coming open. This seems like it's gonna work really well. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get ground squirrels to go inside, step on the latch and get caught. When I went to go check the trap this morning, I saw the red door was down. That means we caught an animal. I was hoping to catch a big ground squirrel, but they're not coming to the barn anymore. I must have wiped most of them out with the A18 trap. But at night, a rat came, a pack rat. It went in there, stepped on the pad, and the door closed. Now this pack rat I caught is a native species, so I'm not gonna kill it. I'm gonna take it out in the wild and let it go. That's why I have the thick leather gloves. We're gonna open up the door, take a look at him, then put him in a tree and let him climb away. Lift up the dogs and pull open that door. Hi, little guy. Look at him bite that leather glove. This is called a dusky footed wood rat because it has white feet. It also has a white belly and a hairy tail. They're not naked like a Norway rat. This one has a stubby tail, something bit it off. Man, he doesn't like being held. Man, this is covered in fleas. Look at them. If you kind of go down in there, see that one climbing on the glove right on the thumb. You have to watch out for these things with disease. Now this native species is semi-arboreal, meaning they sometimes climb trees. They make huge nests. So I'm gonna let it go on a tree. Okay, these pack rats sometimes remind me of tree squirrels. Going up the tree. You can see our pack rat hanging out up there in the branch. He better be careful. He's easy picking for hawks or an owl. The red door rodent catcher trap worked well. I'm testing out a larger version known as the no spray skunk trap. So hopefully in the near future, we'll catch a skunk with the same design, only larger. Man, I gotta watch out for the fleas. They're crawling all over. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So if you want to see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, and maybe soon opossums and skunks, stay tuned.